Welcome back everybody, this is Eric at Moss Pawn and Gun and uh, today, yeah, you read it right we've got a brand new series that we're going to be doing for you guys and it's going to be our how-to series um, I've gotten a lot of emails from you guys talking about hey Eric, when are you going to do more gunsmithing videos? when are you going to do more reloading videos? Uh, well those of you that don't know, if you're a newer subscriber uh, that's really how we kind of got our start uh, on YouTube is by doing gunsmithing, how-to, you know, reloading, technical stuff and uh, I realized that, you know, we have kind of gotten into some of the more entertainment-oriented uh, things, but we do want to keep those concepts coming for you guys uh, because I know a lot of you guys are earlier subscribers, and you like those early how-to videos. So the only way I can really do it and keep it going for you guys, we're going to do it in a how-to episode, hopefully each week. Uh, this particular one that we're going to talk about today is how to repaint your pistol sights. Now I know it seems like kind of a you know simple concept, uh, but let's face it, like the way that sights come from the factory sometimes, you know, they can wear out easy or it's kind of like a little clay-like substance that fills in the, uh, the actual sight itself and sometimes, you know, taking it in and out of your holster it can kind of wear off or chip out. So I'm going to show you how to uh, fix that situation and hopefully this uh, video will be a nice, quick, uh, easy how-to and like I said, each week we'll try to have one how-to video related to gunsmithing, reloading, uh, that kind of thing. If you guys like this concept, please let me know. We will do more of them. Uh, we're going to try this, see how it works, and uh, let's get started. All right, I'm going to show you all a method for doing this that to some of you might be a little bit unorthodox. We're going to be using Brownells Acroglass. It comes in two uh, parts. You have a hardener and a resin. All right. We're going to use a pigment. Now this can be any pigment you want. Uh, in this case we're just using model paint. Yellow model paint. We'll also use some orange. A small pick to apply the paint. What we're going to be doing is mixing up the acroglass in conjunction with the pigment and what that's basically going to give you is a very hard surface. Once it sets up it'll be more durable than the way they do them at the factory. So first thing we're going to go ahead and drill out our old sights. Of course, these sights aren't bad, but I'm going to do this just for demonstration purposes. All you're going to do is find a drill bit that kind of fits the size of the hole for the sight insert. And all you're really going to do is just grab your drill motor and kind of clean it out. That's the whole point of drilling them. You're not really drilling into the base of the sight. You're mainly just drilling out the old clay and kind of scuffing it up a little bit so you can fill it in. Let's go ahead and knock that out now. That's probably way more than enough right there, but just to show you. Just a little dab of acro glass is enough to do probably several sets. If you're going to go through the trouble of using acro glass, you probably want to make sure you have enough sights to do to merit the use of that product because this stuff, you know, isn't what I would consider cheap. You can forego the use of the acro glass if you want. You don't have to use it, but we're going to try it. Of course, you see we've got the resin, and then I've added a little bit of hardener. It's not a super precise mixture, but we'll call it that right there. And we're just going to grab this little pick and mix up the acro glass, and then we're going to add our pigment. Kind of like mixing colors for artwork. Just going to take some of the pigment and drop it into the acro glass like this and mix it up. It's going to make kind of, I guess, like a little paste which is what we're looking for. All right. All right, we're going to take our mixture and simply drop it into the hole and just kind of let it flow. It's going to be a little sticky because of the acro glass, but work fast, okay? Go ahead and drop that in and we're going to let that sit up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the other side, front side on the Keltec and then we'll move on to the orange, finish up the back. All right, front side on the Keltec, same thing. Just doing two guns just to show you. And again, work quick. We're going to go high visibility yellow on the front and orange in the rear. I'm going to go ahead and mix up our acro glass with the orange just like we did before. Basically, you're just adding pigment to the acro glass and you're going to work quick because it'll get real sticky. 
Acroglass might be a little bit cost prohibitive. That's fine. You don't have to spend the money on the Acroglass. You can just use regular model paint. And it'll last probably just as good as what you got from the factory. All right. I'm just trying to show you a different method just to get the uh, gears turning on some of the things that you can do if you want. I'm not saying you have to do it that way. You know, be careful not to overfill them. Drop just enough in there to fill them out so you don't have to do any kind of, you know, picking later to pick out any excess. All right, so there's your orange in the rear on the little Caltech. Let's jump over to the Smith real quick. And again, people, work quick with the Acro Glass because it will uh, gel up on you. I'm real curious to see how these particular sites hold up with the Acro Glass. I imagine that as long as you scuff them up pretty good, it should be pretty dang... Uh, as long as you scuff them up good, it should be pretty durable. Only time will tell how these sites will hold up, you know. But I think with the Acro Glass in there, it's really going to help these things... Uh, go the the long run. All right, here we see the little Smith and Wesson M&P, and uh, those filled in quite nicely. We're gonna have to let those cure up before we shoot them or anything like that. But very nice looking rig. I know there's a bit of glare on that one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, this of course was presented uh, as much in a how-to form as possible. I remember the whole point of a how-to video is for you guys to learn uh, detailed instructions on how to perform a certain task. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, rate, check us out. Of course, leave your comments below if you have any questions or if you'd like to comment on you know, whether or not you want us to do more of these or ideas for how-to videos, what you want to see. Uh, let me know and we'll do more of these. If you like this concept, we'll keep it going. So if you like it, comment below, let me know, and I'll carry that as a factor in my decision on whether or not I you know, do this more. Uh, I'm assuming that we're going to keep going with it. But again, if you like this video concept, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, people.